Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Xbox One controller to your PC. Coming up next in this Xbox tutorial. So there's two different ways you can connect your Xbox One controller to your PC. The first way you can do it is through Bluetooth connection. So you'll connect wirelessly, and the second way you can connect is with a USB to micro USB cable. Now go ahead and make sure your computer actually has a Bluetooth connection available on it. My laptop does, but my desktop computer does not. So I have to connect with a wired to my desktop computer every time I want to play like Sea of Thieves or Minecraft with my Xbox One controller. So let's go over to my laptop right now, and I'll show you how to connect wirelessly with your Xbox One controller to your laptop. All right, so I have my laptop here and I have my Xbox One controller. Now, the first thing you may want to do is disconnect your Xbox One from like uh, the power unit or something. So when you go ahead and turn on your Xbox One controller, it just doesn't automatically connect to your Xbox One. And that's what I had to do. So I have my Xbox One controller turned on. Then I'm going to go ahead and press the sync button on top. And it's going to put the Xbox One controller into sync mode. Now let's go to the... Windows button on the computer in the bottom left open this up then go to the settings section right here and select that and open up the Windows settings section then go to devices then go to Bluetooth and other devices add Bluetooth or other device then select Bluetooth and it's going to go ahead and start looking for available Bluetooth devices so if it's not syncing up to your computer and it's just taking a long time, go ahead and press the sync button on the back of your controller twice really fast. So once, twice, really fast. And that seems to connect the device to the computer for me. So once it shows up under add device, go to Xbox One wireless controller, select that. And it's going to go ahead and connect the two devices together. So as you can see, my Xbox One controller now has a solid color on it and the device is ready for use. So we can go to done now. And you can see that my Xbox One controller is added to the devices on my computer. Now the second way you can connect your controller to your Windows 10 PC or laptop is with a micro USB cable to a USB cable. So this is what it looks like. This is most commonly um, available with cell phones or with your PlayStation controller. If you have one of those laying around, you should have got a charging cable with that. But this is a very common cable. Go ahead and connect it to your Xbox One controller with the USB, micro USB end. And then go ahead and plug it in. And the plug-in spot will be right between the L1 and the R1. I just have an extra little device on my controller right now. These are extra paddles. I got this from Walmart for like 30 bucks. This is called the FPS Dominator Strike Pack. Now let's go ahead and plug the USB N into my computer. And my computer is kind of cool. I got USB ports right at the top of my computer right here by my disk drive and power button. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in right there. It felt my controller rumble a little bit. And let's go ahead and see if it's gonna work in Minecraft right now. All right, so I'm able to go ahead and move now since I selected the correct window. And let's go to one of my worlds. All right, so I am playing Minecraft with the controller on Windows 10. And also, if you connect this to like Steam on your computer, it will recognize the controller as an Xbox controller. So you'll be good to go playing your favorite PC games with your Xbox One controller. If this video did indeed help you, I'll go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help tips coming up next on Your Six Studios.